evening viewers welcome to the assam tribune you are watching super fast 10 i'm monisha and here are the top 10 stories of the day as the clock ticks towards the end of the year guwahati is all set to welcome the new year hotels restaurants bars and various establishments are making final arrangements to welcome the new year however amidst the festive buzz the city's police administration is set to enforce stringent measures to ensure a safe celebration in the city city police commissioner diganta bara while addressing the media emphasized the importance of safety during the celebrations and announced special measures to prevent any untoward incident. incident in a shocking incident an employee of the directorate of elementary education kahili para allegedly faced sexual harassment by the deputy director of the department in guwahati on saturday according to information received deputy director amir hussein allegedly tried to sexually assault his colleague in his room following the incident the victim lodged an fir at the bhagdadpur police outpost based on which hussein was arrested and is currently under the custody of this police In a distressing turn of events after the demise of two young girls who allegedly consumed charmin laced with poison the third girl tragically succumbed while undergoing treatment at a private hospital in Guwahati the unfortunate sequence of events began on December 8 when the three girls allegedly inscribed inappropriate content on a tuition center's blackboard after their fellow students revealed their involvement the trio initially denied any wrongdoing but later confessed in a tragic incident a dead body of a youth was recovered under mysterious circumstances near the magurmari tea garden area under kokrajhar police station on saturday as per sources the youth's body was recovered from a ditch inside the tea garden the deceased youth has been identified as karimsar narjari of kokrajhar town he was a student of IT Gosai Gao Two suspected jihadists including a minor boy were apprehended from Lahore Ghat in Assam's Morigao district according to reports the jihadists were nabbed from a hideout busted during an operation held at South Senimari in Lahore Ghat reportedly the duo had entered into Assam through the Indo Bangladesh border in Tripura on December 15 since then they were carrying out their activities by setting up a camp at Lahore Ghat at least 151 Myanmar soldiers fled to Mizoram's Longthai district after the camps in the neighboring country they were overrun by an armed ethnic group the Myanmar's army personnel also known as the Tatmadaw fled with their arms and approached the Assam rifles at Swintlang in Longlai district after their camps near the international border were overrun by the Arakan army fighters the vigilant troops of BSF Meghalaya successfully thwarted cattle smuggling attempts of miscreants by rescuing cattle heads from the international border of Meghalaya on Saturday acting on specific information the BSF party conducted did a special operation near the international border following which the party managed to seize 47 cattle which were concealed in a jungle area near the international border to smuggle them into Bangladesh as many as 6 people were killed in a huge fire that broke out at a manufacturing company in Maharashtra the incident occurred at a hand glove manufacturing company in the wee hours of sunday the fire brigades were informed about the incident at around 2:15 am to douse the fire and eventually it was brought under control by morning India has logged 841 new cases of COVID-19 the highest in 227 days while the number of active cases of the infection has been recorded at 4309 the health ministry said on Sunday three new fatalities due to COVID-19 each from Kerala Karnataka and Bihar have been reported in a span of 24 hours according to the ministry's data updated at 8 am The joint military exercise Desert Cyclone 2024 between India and UAE will be held from January 2 to January 15 in Rajasthan. The joint drills under Desert Cyclone 2024 will aim to enhance interoperability by learning and sharing best practices in urban operations. That's all the news we have for you today on Superfast and thank you for joining us. For more news and updates stay connected with us on social media. Like share and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, X, YouTube and Telegram. Tune in tomorrow at the same time. Until then stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the Assam Tribune.